What's going on you guys? It's George and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome my channel. I have quite the bit of collection here of empty products. I've always wanted to do an empties video. Oops. And uh, yeah, I figured today I finally have enough items saved to make an empties video. Products that I have completely finished. I'm gonna give you my input whether or not I'm gonna repurchase some of the products, if I like them, if they're worth buying, all of that good stuff. So, if you're interested in my empties video, my first one, then keep on watching. First off, shout out to Starbucks because their new holiday cups are pretty cute, I must say. They're, they're festive in just the right amount. So, cheers to Starbucks. Guys, finally, finally, I have enough items here to do an empties video. I see these all over YouTube. So many of my favorite YouTubers do these type of videos and I think they're so much fun because it gives you a perspective, you know, people keeping it real, whether or not they liked an item, if they wanna repurchase it, and clearly if the product is empty, that means it was used. So that right there is very important when it comes to product reviews. I'm gonna try to make this as like fast and fun as possible and um, kind of organized. So I'm gonna try to go in order as far as like product types go. So let's get started here with We'll start with hair products. This right here is the Aveda Grooming Clay. Um, I don't think there's any special names to this other than the brown one. It has like brown hair. Um, this comes in many different variations. This is the one that I use that I love. Um, guys, aside from this, like performing amazingly because as you've seen in a lot of my videos, I have very straight hair. So the texture of the clay is highly important for me. This does the job amazingly. Price-wise though, I'm not a fan of the price because this is quite expensive, but what completely sells this product for me, Aveda products have like a distinct, very spa-like smell, and this smells amazing. This smells so good. I love this, but um, I have found hair products that work just as well. Don't smell quite as amazing as this, but are way more affordable, so. I'll repurchase this eventually. I'm not I'm not hurrying up for that one. I also have another hair clay in here. This is by the company Kendra. I'm not really too familiar with this brand, but I did purchase this because it smells amazing. I'm like, I'm huge with scents, and this just smells kind of like, oh my God, it still has a smell. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a, a candy. It smells so good. It's not like fruity, like feminine, but it's, it just has a very beautiful smell. Um, Kendra Platinum Working Wax, number 15. Not sure if that means anything, but packaging for this is honestly beautiful. Unlike the Aveda hair clay, this is more luxurious looking. Um, I paid like 15 bucks for this, I think. I'm gonna leave all the prices for all these products um, linked here so you could see for yourself how much they're worth, but I would never purchase this again, guys. This was, it says Working Wax but it was more like a cream in my opinion. It did not hold my hair up at all. So, um, you guys, this smells amazing, but totally not for me. On the hair topic, this is the last hair product that I have as an empty. This is the So Gorgeous Volumizing Hairspray, shaping, shaping Spray for Heavily Volume Hairspray. Guys, this is amazing. This is extremely affordable. This is, I believe, like $8, $10. Don't quote me, I'll leave all that information here, but this is basically like the cheaper version of Big Sexy Hair, which if you guys use hairspray, Big Sexy Hair is kind of pricey. This works just as well, if not better in my opinion, and it is like half the price pretty much. So, and it looks the same, doesn't it? Like looks very similar to Big Sexy Hair. But yeah, size-wise it's great. When it comes out, it, like the consistency is perfect. It's not like too wet, it's not too much, it doesn't have an overpowering smell. I buy this all the time. So this is a empty, but I will definitely be repurchasing this. I actually already have one, so um, I already repurchased it, so yeah. We're gonna move on to body right now, and the next empty product I have here is from Valgene Labs. Guys, I love Valgene Labs. Their serums are amazing. I did a review on them, if you have not seen it. Pretty much I love every one that I tried. This is their body wash. It's vitamin C, um, smooth pink grapefruit. It doesn't have an overpowering smell. It smells good, but it's just 
it isn't great. I forgot how much I paid for this. It wasn't too expensive. I got this at Marshall's. So it was like, I think $8. Um, but yeah, guys, this, when you put it on like a loofah, it doesn't sud up. It doesn't like have a great consistency. Um, I didn't really notice the difference with my skin, but vitamin C is amazing for you when it comes to like a nice glow for your skin and just like a healthy nutrient. So definitely look forward to that. But I, yeah, I just, I will not be repurchasing this guys. Unfortunately, Valgene Labs, I'm so sorry. Love that company, but this is a no. The next body product is from Bath & Body Works. This is the Teakwood Men's Collection Deodorizing Body Spray. And the Teakwood scent from Bath & Body Works, I love. It has a, a, a personal spot in my heart because it just smells so masculine, woodsy, and very just delicious. I love it. So this, I'm not sure the price, how much, oh, $12.50. Um, this lasts extremely long. I mean, I don't douse my body in body spray because I wear cologne and I use the right materials in the shower. But um, this is nice for like after the gym and just like a, a really good like freshen up part of your routine. I don't know, but I would definitely repurchase this. This smells amazing and it's kind of basic. I feel like it's like one of those scents now that a lot of guys use, but I still love it. Next empty that I have here is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. This is by The Body Shop. I love The Body Shop. All their Tea Tree products smell amazing and they do work pretty well. Um, this is basically, it's like a lightweight hydration with shine control for clear looking skin infused with uh, Tamaro oil, whatever you call that oil, but this was all right. Um, it wasn't like expensive, so it didn't break the bank. It's just something that I didn't really care for. Um, I didn't really notice the difference. It smells amazing. Of course, it does keep you hydrated, but it didn't last the entire day. But the Body Shop usually has pretty promising products. This just was not one of my favorites at all. And now I just have kind of like some random stuff. And this is not my first time purchasing this product. This is the Beyond Raw Lit Gummy Worm Flavor Pre-Workout. Guys, I cannot work out without a pre-workout. It's like sad that I have to rely on them, but I, I do have a full-time job and do this and have life in general and relationship and family and just everything. So aside from drinking coffee throughout the day, when I go to the gym, I have to have a pre-workout. This does an amazing job. I highly notice a huge performance difference when I use this and this is just like my go-to now. Beyond Raw is sold at like GNC's and they have an incredible line of stuff. So I would highly recommend checking them out if you are somebody that does use pre-workouts or if you're considering it, this tastes amazing and a little goes a long way because it does say to use, I don't know, there's like a little scooper in here. It says use a full scoop. I only use half of it and I like, I get the itches and like I get hot and stuff. I don't know, it does, it does the job and that's what it's supposed to do. I totally will be repurchasing this again and Beyond Raw, when it comes to their pre-workouts, they have awesome flavors. So I'm hoping they come out with something different soon. If not, gummy worms it is because this, this tastes pretty amazing, not gonna lie. And the last product, guys, this is so random, but it is the Visine AC Eye Drops. And for like eye drops, this is considered like a beauty product in my opinion because I mean, who doesn't want to have hydrated eyes. A lot of people say not to use Visine or um, clear eyes or any of those like over-the-counter eye drops, but I mean, I'm always looking at my phone. I'm always on the computer. I have allergies. I mean, eye drops are necessary for me. And this is an ultra itchy eye relief. It's for basically like redness in the eyes. Um, allergy assistance. This does an amazing job. This is like my go-to right now when it comes to eye drops. I go through them basically on a monthly basis. And yeah, this is random. But if you are somebody of that nature that needs eye drops, I don't know, they say not to use eye drops with alcohol in it. And um, I don't see that this has alcohol. Okay, no alcohol. So yes, this is great to use guys. Check this out. But um, as far as that goes, that actually wraps up all of my empties. I'm going to start saving a little more as like I use my products because I use tons of different products. I try out different skincare products, anything beauty related, and I love it. This will definitely not be my last 
empties video. This is my first and I cannot wait to do many more of these. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. So if I don't get to it before Thanksgiving, then I hope you guys had a great holiday. If not, have a great Thanksgiving. And um, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That is much appreciated. It goes a long way. Share this video, share the love. You know the drill. I say this in every video. So um, yeah, it all helps me out. So please don't forget. Until next time, guys, have a good day. Have a good night, whatever time of day it is. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.